button and now I'll introduce you. Ready? Three, two, one. What's up, guys? This is Aaron from Partridge Capital, and I wanted to touch on a really, really important topic. Um, I've gotten a lot of requests recently about Andrew Left, talking about Namaste, uh, all this negative stuff. So I wanted to bring Rich on because he's he's got so much knowledge. So welcome, Rich. How you doing, Aaron? How you doing today? I'm doing great. And I'm so excited to get into this uh, with you about Andrew Left and all of the crazy allegations that he's made recently with all these different companies. Let's start with Namaste. Well, Namaste, I believe, is a great company. I think they have a great future. I'm very excited about their success. Uh, they are up, I believe, around a thousand percent in the last year. So you can't argue with their success. So from that perspective, they have been one of the biggest success stories in the last 12 months in the cannabis sector. Now, as far as Andrew Left, Andrew Left has a history of he's done this now with CVSI. He's done this now with Kronos Group. He's attacked Tilray. He's attacked IGC. And you've seen... Yeah, just recently the article came out with IGC, yeah. And now he's attacked Namaste. Now... Five companies in the cannabis sector that have all been going super, super high, super, super well, and like octane fuel just exploding. All of them exploded, right? And he's talked about cannabis growth, but he said he will not short them because they have an amazing deal with Constellation Brands. But I don't believe him. I don't believe anything he says, first of all. I don't believe anything he says, and I don't think if he says he's not going to short cannabis growth, that that's necessarily true. I believe if he sees an opportunity to short something, he will. And then if he gets upside down on a short, what he does is he then tries to investigate these companies and then determine whether or not he believes they are fraudulent in their claims. And he's done this now with CVSI and Kronos Group, which he's now in litigation with. He has multiple attorneys throughout America that are putting out news consistently about the fact that you can join the team of people that are suing CVSI and Kronos Group. So I find it interesting that every time he gets short on a stock, he sues them. Imagine if every time people like us that were retail investors that are buying stocks, hoping for long-term future growth. Imagine if every time a stock went down on us, we sued them. That's what Andrew Left does. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, There's what can no you way. say about a guy like him? And then one day, Namaste goes up 20%. And then the very next day, he comes out with news trying to destroy Namaste. Yeah, like he just put out that seven-page report. I don't know if you saw it or anything, but like, I think it's... I won't read his garbage. Propaganda. No, I, I didn't read it at all. I just saw the news article saying he put out a report. I didn't even read it because that's how much I don't believe it. So... Unfortunately, he's a very powerful man and mm -hmm. he's, he's, he's attacking the cannabis sector, yet he's trying to talk about whether or not he should open up a fund in the cannabis sector. I wonder what the top holdings of that fund would be, probably all the stocks that he's shorted. And Correct. one thing about the stock price for Namaste, I mean, I think they're sitting great right now. And I mean, it's been unfortunate that the stocks had to drop so much due to all this publicity. But I think this is probably a great time to add to this great company. I believe it's just strictly a buying opportunity. I'm not saying yeah. that you should run out there and buy it today because it seems as though every time I talk about something, people want to run and buy it. Guys, yeah. remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. I am not a licensed advisor. Do your yeah. due diligence, please. Do your own research. Invest in a stock because you love it, not because you heard me talk about it. Please. I talk about a lot of stocks, and yes, I have a very good track record, but don't go and buy it just because I talked about it. Talk buy it because you want to buy it. Because you're gonna exactly. be you're gonna have to be the one that lives with the decision. Exactly. No, that's true. So yeah, like honestly, I love this whole industry. This industry's changed my life. I think this is one of the fastest growing, most exciting industries in the world. And to be a part of this industry, I feel blessed. Now, as far as Namaste, I think they have an amazing license from Health Canada, which I believe is the first of its kind. I believe that alone is worth its price in gold. Mm -hmm. Now, the fact that they are also building an online dispensary to sell to the entire world, I believe is revolutionary. And mm -hmm. I believe they are ahead of their time. 
So I do- love that their their international approach to business. They're in so many countries already, and they were in so many countries like a couple of years ago. So I think they've got the right idea, and I love the fact that they want to be the Amazon of the cannabis industry. Yeah, like, that's I mean, amazing. That's a good goal. You know, uh, if one day we see Namaste at a billion dollar market cap, um, I'll be very, very happy, right? So, you know, we know that Amazon and companies like Apple, you know, Apple just touched a trillion dollar market cap. Mm. So what is possible for companies like Aurora Cannabis, companies like Namaste, companies like Canopy Growth Corp? I think the sky's the limit because they're just getting started. October 17th is the first day of legalization. The first, and it will only That's just get bigger. the tip of the iceberg, though. That is correct. It's like I, I try to give this analogy. A stock is like a baby. When it's a brand new stock and it does an IPO and it's the first day, it's like your first day that the baby's been born. You need to give the baby time to mature, to develop, to grow. Similar to a stock, still mm. similar to real estate. I like to yep. look at a stock like I get have to give that company time to mature to put out news, to really grow in order to see returns. If I'm not willing to see those returns, if I'm not willing to see those revenues, those quarters growing and mounting, then I'm not going to see dramatic returns. That's why I am a long-term investor. Yes, I day trade for fun, but 90% of my holdings is long-term investing. Mm -hmm. And that's really, I mean, like you could, you could start with, Oh, I bought weed stocks like a couple years ago. And I tried to trade them, but then, oh, one day they went up 50%. So then I decided to not buy and then I missed the whole thing. And no, you just, yeah, you got, if you're, if you want to get solid returns, you got to buy and just hold it, add. Yes, you can, like you said, you can have some fun trading, but I mean, the way that you make real money in the stock market is you're a long-term investor. I totally agree with that. hundred percent. Warren Buffett. I mean, yeah. he's my idol. I follow everything he does. I, I, I. I listen to everything he says and he talks about it. Invest in good companies. He mm-hmm. does not, people are like, he says, people always ask me, you know, what, what do I buy for tomorrow, Warren? He says, I don't know. He goes, I don't look <laughs> at a stock for tomorrow. I don't look at a stock for next month. I don't even look yeah. at a stock for next year. I'm looking for 20 years down the road. So I started thinking, hmm, I got to think like that because he's the most successful yeah. investor ever. <laughs> so I need to think like him and I stop thinking short term like, mm-hmm. Oh, it's up today. I feel great. I'm the king. Oh, it's down today. I feel terrible. I want to cry. <laughs> That's what people do. Right? So oh, I started true. thinking a different way and yeah. I came up with the strategy of when they cry, I buy when stocks are down. That's what I'm buying. Mm-hmm. And everybody's crying. That's what I'm buying. I'm buying in the red, I'm selling in the green. And I learned yeah. to live in this world. And if you can learn to accumulate the best yeah. assets over time, you will be successful. Warren Buffett says, I invest in the American economy. Yeah. I believe in the American economy. And over time, historically, the S&P 500 grows. The exactly. Dow grows. The TSX grows. If you believe that all the indicators and all the markets and all the indexes are going to grow over time, then invest in a sector. I invest in the cannabis sector. Yep. I believe this is a sector that over time will grow. I have over 20 holdings, all in the cannabis sector. 16 of them are Canadian and five of them are American. I believe in this sector. When it goes down, I buy more. I don't panic. I don't get angry. I don't start calling these companies names. A lot of people do. I find that quite... Uh, amateur, to be quite honest. Oh, because yeah, for sure. As an investor, you need to relax and you need to realize that there's going to be down days and there's going to be up days. And the only thing that gives you that experience is time. Yeah, exactly. One thing about my channel, you know, when I started it, I didn't start it with the intention of uh, being a trading channel. Like so many millennials like me, if they're listening to me, maybe they're young people, but Everybody wants the quick money. Everybody wants to, oh, buy this stock. And in two days, it's up 50%. But, you know, if, if everybody could time the market like that, we'd all be millionaires. So, exactly. you know, it's great to talk about this stuff, the, the, the fun, you know, marijuana stocks and all that kind of stuff. But, like, also, I want to talk about the long-term approach to investing, even dividends. I mean, 
so many people, they're not excited about dividend paying stocks, but those stocks over the long term also do well. So it's nice that we'll be able to talk about all this cool stuff, not just cannabis, but I mean, like, of course, it's awesome and it's exciting right now. So that's why we're talking about it. Yeah, you know, we're in the industry and there's a lot of exciting things happening in this industry. And I consistently am telling people that we are building a CBD company. Uh, This week, we, my partners met with Naturally Splendid, NSP, and we are going to be working on a video with them and potentially working with them to build distribution for CBDs Mm -hmm. under their licensed LP. So if you guys are interested, anyone that's watching anywhere in the world, wants to get into the CBD business, we are going to be working with licensed producers. Naturally Splendid is excited about working with you, the people, giving you an opportunity to get into the CBD business, to change your life and be a part of this cannabis revolution. In addition to that, I do have some meetings with a few other companies, one today and one in a few weeks, which I'll announce after the meetings, depending on how they go, which are large Canadian cannabis companies that are also licensed producers. And I'm very excited about those relationships. And these are more than just investing opportunities. These are opportunities to do CBD distribution. These are opportunities to do interviews with these companies. These are opportunities to do um, videos of their facilities, which I'm very excited about seeing myself to show you, the people at home, what these companies are really all about. So instead of listening to guys like Andrew Left, who are not actually going to their facilities, I'm going to go and fly around the world and travel with these CEOs and I want to see their facilities and bring the videos, the real evidence to the people at home. Yeah, that'll be great. I would love to do some facility tours. You should come over to Ontario. We can show all these places because there's, I would love to. there's so many. I would love so, to. I'm from Toronto. Maybe, so yeah, we can yeah, definitely exactly. schedule so some. Maybe we'll be making some upcoming videos for you guys. One more thing. I know you got some really exciting news, Rich, so let's hear it. So yesterday I have made, I've made investments into high times, H I T M. It's not too late to get into high times, go to hightimesinvestor.com and you can set up an account and you can invest up to October 31st into the IPO. Yesterday I got on the phone and I contacted them directly and I spoke to the vice president of sales and they are very interested in working in some type of capacity with rich TV live. (laughs) They are interested in bringing the Cannabis Cup to Vancouver and yours truly may be working with High Times to bring the Cannabis Cup to Vancouver, Toronto, all of Canada, and who knows, maybe all over the world. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I was pretty excited excited for that. (laughs) Yeah, I was pretty excited. So So I called them as (laughs) an investor and by the time it was all said and done, we may potentially be working together. They're very, they are very aware of Rich TV Live. And in fact, they said that a lot of their investment has been coming from the community within Rich TV Live. So it was really nice to hear that. And it's exciting to see that we have that type of awareness and we have that type of exposure now in the marketplace where people trust us enough and our credibility has grown enough that people would trust my judgment and say, hey, you know what? Rich made an investment into high times. This might be a good investment. Now, remember, I don't own high times. I have no control over the company. I'm strictly an investor. I may be doing some work with them in the future. I do not have any business with them yet. But if I do do something with them, you guys will be the first to know. Awesome. Well, I guess we'll wrap this up. Um, Thanks so much for all your insight and all your knowledge, Rich. It's always great having you. And uh, we'll definitely be bringing you guys awesome, uh, a lot more awesome and cool content. So stay tuned. Thank you so much, Aaron. I really appreciate the time today. Have yourself a great day, my friend. Have a happy Thanksgiving. Yes. Happy Thanksgiving, everybody. Peace. All right. I'll stop the recording. So I think that was good. We can... um...